you know, when I was a little kid, I always dreamed about racing with my dad and having a one-two finish, but I wanted him to be second. It was so similar, but so different. And it's pretty tough to talk about right now. When we think of NASCAR royalty, we imagine legends, the best of the best, and individuals who exude contentment and pride. And in the world of NASCAR, few names are as iconic and revered as the Allison family. This remarkable racing dynasty has left an indelible mark on the sport, with their passion for speed, unmatched talent, and a storied history that spans generations. From the patriarch Bobby Allison to his sons, Davey and Clifford, their story is one of triumph, rivalry, and tragedy. So, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for a deep dive into the remarkable Allison family legacy in NASCAR. Our story begins with Bobby Allison, the patriarch of the Allison family. So let's take a look into the extraordinary life of this NASCAR Hall of Famer, an individual who has experienced both unimaginable success and heartbreaking tragedy. Born in Miami, Florida, in 1937, Bobby's journey into racing started on the short tracks of Florida. In 1961, he made his debut in the NASCAR Cup Series, kicking off a career that would span decades. Known for his aggressive driving style, remarkable car control, and unyielding desire to win, Bobby was a force to be reckoned with on the track. Bobby Allison had run-ins with driver after driver. He didn't like to uh, give in to anything. Throughout his career, he competed in over 700 Cup Series races, amassing 84 wins, including three Daytona 500 victories, and securing the NASCAR Cup Series championship in 1983. Everybody has just contributed to this greatest day of my life and the greatest day of my career. All I can do is keep echoing, thank you. One of the defining moments of Bobby's career was his fierce rivalry with Richard Petty. Their epic battles on the track captivated fans and played a significant role in popularizing NASCAR in the southern United States. The Alabama Gang, consisting of Bobby Allison, his brother Donnie Allison, and Red Farmer, was instrumental in this rise. Travel together and kind of like a convoy, and uh, we we'd go to all the races together. We help each other on our cars all the time. I don't think we thought that we were better than anybody else, but we could win, and uh, it became a way of life. Well, here comes that dang Alabama gang. Here comes the Alabama gang. Here comes that damn Alabama gang again. And I thought it just sounded neat, and so we became the Alabama gang. And continuing the legacy was his sons Davey and Clifford Allison. Pretty neat, you know, to be able to race on the same racetracks that, that Dad raced on. And what even was neater was when we started winning some of them. Born in 1961, Davey Allison's talent behind the wheel was evident from an early age. I always wanted to be a race car driver for as long as I can remember. My dad's been involved in it ever since I was born, and it's just what I've enjoyed. In 1985, he made his NASCAR Cup Series debut, embarking on a promising career. Quickly rising through the ranks, Davey captured the attention of fans and fellow drivers with his remarkable skills and relentless pursuit of victory. In his brief but brilliant career, Davey Allison achieved 19 wins and 66 top 10 finishes, solidifying himself as a formidable competitor in the Cup Series. However, in June 1988, at the midpoint of the 1988 season, Bobby Allison crashed on lap one of the Miller High Life 500. Initially, he survived a head-on hit into the outside barrier but then suddenly Jaco Maggiacomo T-boned Allison in the driver's side of the car, nearly killing Allison. When he reached a local hospital he was initially declared dead, but subsequent medical assistance saved his life. Beginning from a vegetative state, Allison entered a rehab program. And this was a tough time for the entire Allison family. Crash at Pocono. I was sitting still and a car T-boned me and car going about 150 miles an hour hit me in the driver's door, put me in a helicopter and took me to the hospital at Allentown. And the doctor, this old guy comes down the hallway and, hey, who's with this guy? He's in trouble. And Judy said, he's got a broken leg. You know, he was in the wreck at the racetrack, got a broken leg. No, lady, he's in trouble. I said, I have to drill a hole in his head. And so she agreed and uh, they took me into one of the little cubicles and he drilled a hole in my head and it squirted blood on the wall. Well, he, you know, he ended up with a, what they call a closed head injury and um, he was like uh, right on the verge of death. 
After regaining most of his memory and relearning everyday activities, Allison prepared to attempt a comeback in the early 1990s. However, another tragedy struck the Allison family in 1992 when Bobby's son, Clifford, lost his life in a racing accident at Michigan International Speedway. I was at work and one of the girls in the office just came and said, you have a call from your Uncle DJ, but you need to go sit down. I was, and I was just like, oh my God, what's happened? Never in my wildest dreams would I have thought it would have been Clifford. <sighs> he was my baby brother. Clifford, the youngest son of Bobby, was born on August 20th, 1964. Like his father, he too was drawn to the world of racing and aimed to make a name for himself. However, Clifford's untimely death served as a stark reminder of the inherent dangers in motorsport. It was a moment that changed the course of the Allison family's involvement in NASCAR because following this tragic event, Bobby Allison decided to retire from competitive racing, marking the end of an era for the family in the sport. Unfortunately, the tragedies for the Allison family did not end there. Davy Allison was in very critical condition late Monday night after the helicopter he was piloting crashed at Talladega Motor Speedway. Less than a year later, in 1993, Davy Allison's life was cut tragically short in a helicopter crash at Talladega Super Speedway. Clifford was killed instantly. Davy lived through the night. And it was the worst night I guess I've been through. Just nothing we can do but pray, and we certainly prayed. Um, you know, when morning came, uh, it was obvious that Davy wasn't going to continue to survive. Despite the losses they endured, the Allison family's legacy continues. Bobby and Judy Allison remained involved in NASCAR, advocating for safety initiatives and driver well-being. Their commitment to improving safety in racing underscores their enduring love for the sport. And the Allison legacy lives on through the next generation. Davey Allison's son and Bobby Allison's grandson, Robbie Allison, has pursued a racing career, ensuring that the family's heritage continues in NASCAR. Uh, two things that I heard a lot about my dad growing up were that he was determined and he was dedicated. Uh, something I've learned in my life is that I think he got the determination from his dad, but I think he got the dedication from his mom, Judy. Robbie competes in various racing series, including the Allison Legacy Series, dedicated to preserving the memory of the Allison family and promoting young talent in motorsport. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting NASCAR content. Until next time, this is NASCAR in and out on Essential Esports. Keep the pedal to the metal.